What's going on guys? How you guys doing today? It's your boy Chris Dude 36 coming at you today with my UPU season four first battle of the league. I'm not 100 percent sure which week it is. I think it's like week 10 or 11. But this will be my first battle in the complete league. Okay, so the bat so as I'm gonna pretty much do what I normally do. I got my team, my opponent's team pulled up. I'm gonna walk you through and what I think of it. And you guys can see the, the kill death ratio for it. So yeah, let's go. Victini, Z move user. I pl I had Victini back in um the MPBF season five. This is before I started recording them, all my battles and all that stuff. And I actually kind of liked it, but I ended up trading it for a Zuma reel because I figured I figured the Zuma reel probably be better on my team. Could give me some extra bulk. Vic, he's also going to be his first Zima user. Victini apparently is his kill leader. 14 kills, 7 deaths. Yeah, can be very, very dangerous, especially, especially since it can run like blue flare and bolt strike and stuff like that. Next is his mana feet. It's going to be a second Zima user. It's kill death ratio, ratio of 7 to 8. And uh, can, I think if I'm right, I can set up like Z Rain Dance. Get the speed up, then activate a tail glow, which can be very dangerous. Uh, mean Shao, never really fought one, so I don't really know much about it. All I know is that it's a decent mon. That's about it. Alone in Nine Tails, that can be dangerous if running Snow Warning with a Royal Veil and stuff like that, because Royal Veil is pretty much the same thing as um, like Light Screen and Reflect, I believe. So, yeah. Shaman is to be his uh second Z move, his third and not second, his third and final Z move user. Uh, don't know much about Shaman either. I don't, to be honest, I don't know much about any of these mods. To be honest, I think they ran like a point system, so that's why his Mega's odd no, and his glass score. To be honest, his glass score in my opinion is like a, the biggest threat. Um. Uh, it looks like he has to bring Licky Licky all season, so it doesn't have anything. Noivern can be dangerous for boom burst, stuff like that. Rotom Frost, uh, pretty good typing, especially against like um, stuff like my Salamence, and that's about it, pretty much. Just against my Salamence and a few other mods. Uh, Licky Licky, bulky, normal top. Y'all remember back from my uh, battle against Jeff and his Pinoli Pyramus back for MPPF. The MPPF. So on and so forth. This Glops is pretty much. Prob it's probably about the same bulkiness as Dusnor. With. That's with Eviola. I'm not sure if it's without Eviola or whatever. Then there's Mega Ardeno. I really don't know much about Mega Ardeno at all. Glass Score. I kind of hate Glasgow because of its poison health ability, which is can be dangerous. Okay, next I start walk, talking about my team and what I'm gonna bring. First, I'm gonna bring Bugsy, our uh, male Masquerade. Who, by the way, guys, these these uh, these uh nicknames ain't final, but yeah, Bugsy, our male Masquerade, who will be holding a Focus Sass with the ability to intimidate because most. Because a bunch of his teams like uh, physical, I believe. He will be rocking sticky web, air slash bug buds, and quiver dance. Focus as to make my first move with Bugsy is to get sticky web up for my next mod, which I can probably see up in the team right there. So I'm gonna pretty much sticky web to decrease his mod speed, air slash, and bug buds for stab and quiver dance for power boost. He's gonna be a modest nature. With 252 investment in special attack and speed, with four in special defense. Next, we're going to bring Xerxes, our male Needle King, who will be holding a life orb to boost his attack. And he's also going to be having the sheer force ability with Earth Power, Sludge Wave, Flamethrower, and Toxic. Most people will be act looking at me asking, like, why Toxic? I'm like, the whole reason I'm pretty much bringing Toxic is to like wither down to the um, Dusclops. Cause that thing's gonna that thing's gonna be able to take hits and if it's badly poisoned it loses more and more health every turn. So he's gonna be a timid nature with 252 special attack and speed investment with four special defense investment. Next, we're gonna be bringing Guppy, 
or a female swampert who will be holding the assault vest with a torn ability, rocking a waterfall, earthquake, hammer arm, <sighs> and yes, ice ball. To be honest, guys, the battle's already happened. Like, I was in a hurry to build this team, and I always mess up with, like, freaking ice ball. I mean, to pet ice punch, but ice ball is like the first move to come up, and I freaking hate it. He's gonna be having, he's gonna be an Adam and Agent with 252 HP and attack investment with four in special defense. Next, we're gonna be bringing Apollo, our male Arcanine, who will be holding the choice band and the boost, all of his physical moves that he has. With the, with Flash Fire, to that way we have a fire immunity. And he's gonna be rocking Flare Blitz, Wild Charge, Extreme Speed, and Close Combat. He's gonna be an Adam and Nature with 248 HP investment, 252 attack investment, and 8 special defense investment. Uh, pretty much if I get hit by like Blue Flare or something like that, which I end, which actually I do end up hitting, but not with Apollo. <sighs> yeah. Flash Flare. Flash Fire boosts up my fire types damage by 1.5. Choice Band increases my physical stat by 1.5. And also I get a stab of, of my 1.5. So basically that's like a, that's a, like, a lot. <laughs> Wild Charge to take care of its um, water weakness. Close Combat to take care of its rock weakness. And Extreme Speed is just for priority. Like if I want to take something out, let's go Extreme Speed. Next, when we bring in Parthenax, our male Salamence, who is going to be our Z-Move user this week. He's going to be. He's also going to be rocking the Intimidate ability, rocking Dragon Dance, Dragon Claw, Outrage, and Rock Slide. Pretty much, Dragon Dance is to, yeah, y'all know, boost attack and speed. Dragon Claw and Outrage is just two really strong physical stab moves, and Rock Slide, so that way I don't get completely bodied by. Things like his Mega Ardeno and stuff like that. And his... Alola Ninetales. He's going to be rock. He's going to be an Adam and Aether with 252 attack and speed investment with 4 in special defense. Last but not least, we're going to bring Kim, our female Mega Mawile. You already know what I'm just going to be holding. She's going to be holding that Ma Mawileite, so we take a Mega Evolve. With, our, with her Mega's ability, huge power, it doubles her attack. So basically, as you can see right here... She would ha instead of having a 339 attack, she would have a 678 attack, I believe. She's gonna be rocking. She's gonna the move she's shit, I can't even speak. The move she's gonna have is Iron Head, Play Rough, Sword Stance, and Rock Slide. Sword Stance, that way her moves get boosted. Iron Head and Play Rough for Stab and Rock Slide to take care of her fire weakness. She's gonna be rocking 248 HP investment. 252 eight attack investment with 8 special defense investment and in 8 special defense investment she's also going to be an adamant nature All right, that's my team for this week guys I hope you guys, en I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys later